Hey guys, RC here. Welcome back. Season 7, episode 1. Uh, this is a very special episode. I will tell you why in just a moment. But we are starting Season 7. We're at the beginning of the season. Uh, we had our best season to date, record-wise, 14-2 and two last year. And yet got knocked out in the uh, divisional round in, the, in our first game in the playoffs by Seattle, who went on to win the Super Bowl. So let's talk real quick. Why is this important? Well, I had a video that went up earlier today, and we are doing a game giveaway, the first ever on my channel. So thank you to you guys for watching my videos, tuning in, whether it's been for one episode or for the three years I've been doing this. And also a big thank you to Gary Gorski and uh, his team over at Wolverine Studios who made Draft Day Sports PF20. Uh, they are the ones donating a code for this very game. So if you've liked what I've been doing here and you want to get the game, uh, we are going to have a giveaway. So I uh, put a link in the description to the video that kind of gives the uh, breakdown of what we're doing and why. Uh, in the video description, I will put the rules for the contest. But basically, hit the like button right now and leave a comment any comment it could be one word it could be a dissertation it could be you know it could be hey this video sucks it could be love this game uh, i hope i win the game whatever you put any comment at all uh, will register you for the giveaway only one entry per person so you can comment on every video and i would love that but i will only register your comments one time uh, but don't let that stop you from commenting, please. Uh, but, and then, uh, the giveaways will start with this episode and they will go through Christmas Eve, December 24th of 2019. And any video from this episode, season seven, episode one until November in the draft day sports series. Only this series, not my football manager, not my Miss Survival. Only this one will register you for the giveaway. And then, uh, again, all the rules are, are written down, but we'll pull a winner at that point. We'll get you in touch with Gary over at Wolverine, and you will get a, a Steam code for uh, for this game, and uh, then you guys can enjoy it yourself. You, you, if you already own the game, you can still register, and then you can give the code to somebody that you know uh, and introduce them to the wonderful world of Wolverine. Uh, but looking forward to it. Um, again, the series, the episode is not sponsored. Gary's doing this. I asked him nicely, and he... Uh, was polite enough to to say yes, but he has never come out and said you have to pump up my games uh, and give me a hundred percent ratings. So you still get the plain and honest truth because my copy of the game I paid for. Uh, so you get a free one. I paid for it, and that's okay. But uh, let's get going in season seven, and uh, I am looking forward to a ton of comments. Make sure you tell your friends so they can come watch the video. Hit that like button, comment, so they can get entered for the giveaway as well. Uh, I will try to mention that every series or every episode. I'll try to remember. I may forget. Uh, but anyway, let's get to it. Scout next draft. There we go. All right, so the first guy we want to look at is, this is Barry O'Connor. So we want to uh, scout him. And he's supposed to be a late round, so we'll only scout him. All right, the next guy is a linebacker. And this is Marion Alston. There he is. All right, so he should be undrafted. All right, so we'll scout him. All right, the next guy is a free safety in Aaron Lankford. Late round, so we'll scout him. And James Harvey, a tight end. James Harvey, round two to three. So let's go ahead and interview him. And then we've got Michael Simon at a defensive tackle. First round. So, yeah, we want to interview him. Richard Valerio. A tackle. Rounds one to two. So we'll scout him. James Dykes, kicker. We'll scout him. And a couple of wide receivers. First one is Carol Nicholson. 
Um, well, the other one is this Maynard guy. Top 10, so scout and interview. And then the other one was who? Carol Nicholson. There he is. Undrafted, so we'll scout him as well. All right, so that has scouted all the guys there. And then I'm going to auto-assign points. All right, so all my guys should still be there. Hello? So it won't auto-assign if you... Hmm. That's interesting. All right. Well, let's see. Well, let's go ahead and scout and interview him because potentially... And I know we're going to want a running back. So we want to scout a couple of these guys. All right. We've already done the punter. Um... We might be looking for a backup quarterback, but he's going to probably be in this round four to five. Alcorn State. Last guy to come out of Alcorn State was pretty good. Uh, and let's go ahead and do, well, that's, yeah, that's fine. And then uh, let's take a gamble maybe on a linebacker, maybe down in round four. Four, five, six, five, two, seventy four. That's a pretty big ass linebacker. And he's a great house. That's awesome. Um how about this guy? Just just on the other well, let's, let's are we not doing Oh, hello. It doesn't take points to scout can we scout everybody? Are you shitting me? Can I scout everybody? Well, then why did why isn't there an option to just scout everybody? Or why doesn't the game just automatically scout everybody? I find that odd. I find that very confusing. All right, let's look at all. And... Let's do... Uh, okay, he's a first... So, you can you can scout everybody late. It looks like possibly. I don't know if this is gonna take or not. That's that's the thing. Uh, rounds two to three, we could use a linebacker. Could use another tackle. All right, we'll save that. All right, and let's go ahead and advance. Yes, I don't know if it actually did anything. We'll see. Because a lot of these guys, I should have wrote some names down because now we've got a butt ton of guys. All right, so where do we pick? We're going to pick late, or we're going to pick next to, uh, not next to last, but pretty late. 28th, yep. All right, so view players. They want me to draft a quarterback. Well, he's a top 10 pro prospect. Known for showing up early, staying late. I mean, do we look at maybe pulling a replacement for Dak Prescott? Hmm? Is it time to do that? Let's look at our report. All right, so you can see we actually have now scouted this guy because, look, our certainty is much higher. We're at, what, 52%? So arm is average which is not that important. Accuracy is deficient. I don't like that. So no, I don't want to draft a deficient guy. All right, let's go here. Okay, so then they have this guy from Oklahoma State. All right, now much lower. All right, no? So 58 here. So accuracy is mind-blowing. Intelligence is mind-blowing, but his arm is pathetic which is the worst in the game. But mind-blowing is second highest. So from what I remember when we way back when when we looked at all the guys that, you know, the two guys that, you know, they said arm is the least important thing. It's the accuracy and the intelligence. 
we have not had a guy that was mind blowing. And do I dra- I'm going to draft him. I just signed Dak, but Dak is over 30. I'm going to draft this guy. From Oklahoma State. I want to write this guy's name down cuz I want to check him out. Polito. <laughs> All right. All right, close view. Oh my god. What did we just do? What did we just do? All right, view players. All right, sort. All right, I do. I would always like a tackle. And they're, uh, no, they're not suggesting him. But they are suggesting, oh, they're suggesting a D-tackle. D-tackle. Right here, William Brown. Well, let's take a look at him. All right. So we we have scouted him, but that's it. Um, speed, pathetic, but a D-tackle. So D-tackle is strength, pedestrian strength. It's kind of middle of the road on the low side. Great agility and great tackling. Possible. Possible. Richard Valerio. Let's take a look at him. So he needs speed. I don't think he needs to be like world-class speed, right? But his run blocking and, oh no, pathetic pass blocking. Did you notice what I just saw on him though? Look at that. A hundred. How did we get a hundred on him? Did we interview him as well? Interesting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We did interview him because it no flags. Okay, so we did interview this guy. Don't know that that's a guy we want here, though. Uh, Rick Black. See, we didn't interview this guy. Now, strong safety. Deficient speed. Tackling is great. Agility is incredible. William Brown, though. Great tackling. Terrible tackling. All right, so you know what? Let's, let's go ahead and go with the coaches here, and we're going to draft that player. Bam. All right. Close view. Pick until human. All right, now they're telling us Joshua Shannon or Ronald Short. We do need a running back. All right, here's the top running back, round three. Walter McClendon will break away if they don't wrap him up. Now, we know he's 100% certainty, so agility's terrible, underdeveloped strength, uh, strength, and only decent speed. Decent's middle of the road, so, I mean, that's not the worst. Average hands. Now, they want me to take Joshua Shannon. All right, so if we clear these and only look at running backs, there's Shannon from Alabama. And we have nothing on this guy. Speed's average. Hands are great. Agility's average. Um, but he's listed as a round four to five guy. Wow. Wow. All right, we know a lot about him, but we already looked at him, right? Kevin Hernandez. Amazing strength, subpar speed. All right, that's not good. Joshua Shannon. All right, so I don't think I'm going to take, I don't think I'm going to take a running back now. So the other guy is Ronald Short. And we just took we just took a defensive tackle, right? So I don't really want another one of those, I don't think. Duncan Krikorin. Michael Salas. Acceptable strength, terrible speed, pathetic and fine. Pathetic's the worst, that's bad. So we don't want that. Thomas Delator, terrible and terrible. Or as Charles Barkley would say, that's terrible. Terrible. Uh, I 
Lawrence Wilson. Deficient and awful. Who's on our draft board? Anybody? James Harvey's up there. What's this dude? All right, so what we got? Speed is acceptable. Terrible hands. Oh, and he can't block. So he can't catch and he can't block. All right. Um, Walter McClendon. I don't know, man. Decent speed. Average hands. I don't know, man. I don't know if I can do that. I don't think I can do that. Um, Mitchell Klein. Don't know anything about him. Pedestrian speed. Nope. Stanley Clements. Acceptable speed. Undeveloped hands. They're killing me here, guys. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Ronald Short. Uh, let's clear all these. Find this linebacker. Ronald Short. Don't know anything about him. Unique speed, though. So that's really high. And accept. You know what? Let's draft him. Boom. Ronald Short. Draft that player. Yes, please. Close the view. All right. Back to the players. All players. All right. So, oh, wait. All players, please. There we go. All right. So, everybody's telling me to take Richard K. All right, let's clear this, find the running backs. I at least want to look at the guy they're suggesting. Out of South Carolina. I don't know anything about him. He can pass block. That's actually good. Strength, agility, but I need a running back. Do I take a flyer? All of my coaches like the kid. He is round four to five. Let's check some of these other guys just to make sure. All right, terrible speed. Pedestrian speed. Incredible speed, but terrible hands and pathetic agility. Incredible is the highest. You know what? I'm going to take a flyer on this guy just for that. I'm probably wrong. I'm probably wrong, but that's all right. I'm going to take. I haven't had anybody with the top level, so I've got a quarterback that I'm excited to see and this guy's speed. I mean, I'm expecting that to be like about a 96. So we'll see how that goes. All right, round five. Robert Pratt. I actually have a nephew named Robert Pratt. That's interesting. Robert, I might draft you, dude. Um, do I want to take a... But I need a punter, don't I? I, I? I actually need a punter. Kicking distance is deficient. Hmm. Do I want to take a punter in the fifth round? I mean, he's listed as a round four or five guy. My entire, st and it's my nephew's name. So God, I got to take him, right? Yeah, I'm going to draft him. <laughs> I'm going to take, just for that, just for that. All right. Oh, that was oh, that was our first pick in the fifth round. Remember, we have Tampa Bay's pick. I forgot about that. So this is that was kind of a throwaway. All right, so we need. Uh, let's see. Here we go. All right, there are two guys. I've already drafted a quarterback. I'm not drafting another quarterback, and that's my defensive coordinator. I'm like, are you crazy? Morgan Howard, a tight end. Ocampo was on our. 
list, was he not? Maybe not. All right. Um, tight end, tight end. Howard Morgan, there he is. Morgan Howard, SMU. Team player, all right. Hands, unique hands. All right, that's third best. I like that. Not a blocker. Terrible speed, but he's got the hands. Tight end doesn't have to be fast, I don't believe. I would like him to be able to block. A little bit. Just a little. Hmm. A tackle out of Michigan. Great agility. Terrible and bad. Terrible and terrible. Terrible and bad. Oh, that was the Michigan guy. My bad. Uh, pathetic and average. Strength is terrible. Fantastic. With acceptable speed. Ryan Lopez, welcome to the Dallas Cowboys. Liking that. Fantastic pass blocking. All right, six round. All right, Willie Lawson. I just took a tackle, though. But you know what? We could we never hurts to have more, but pathetic and terrible. I don't like the idea of that. Sam Hahn. Speed's terrible. Tackling's acceptable. Agility's pathetic. Yeah, I'm not liking that. Um, strength is bad. Pathetic, unexceptional. Pedestrian, average, unexceptional. Where does that fall on the grid? All right. I mean, it's not, I mean, it sounds bad, but it's actually kind of middle of the road-ish. Still haven't signed a punter. Oh, wait. Yeah, I did. I signed my nephew. That's right. Um... Exceptional strength, awful speed, but he can block. He could be a fullback. Went to Western Michigan. The exceptional strength, that would be interesting. So it would be interesting to see. So he's he's he doesn't have breakaway speed, but he could break a tackle. You know, so he could you know could that could that help him? I'm interested in taking that just to just to see that. Decent strength, terrible speed. So I'd I'd rather take this guy. Let's take him just to see what happens. Liking it? Maybe. Maybe I'm liking it. I think I like it, but that doesn't mean anything. All right, late rounds. So Hogan or Mart Martinson or, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me close this. Uh, team recap. Quarterback, yes, I did take a punter. All right, so punter, running back, two running backs. All right, so I've addressed running back, punter, defensive tackle, and linebacker, and quarterback. I've, addre I've addressed all of my needs even though I wasn't really thinking about it. All right, so back to the viewer. So we can really throw this pick away. Don't want to, but let's see. All right, so we're just going to kind of scroll through a few of these guys. Um, nope. Speed, pathetic. Nope. Kenneth Bays. Pathetic. I wish there was a way that I could sort by. I should be able. To, I should be able to look at their speed. I mean, I should be able to. 
I should be able to see any of these numbers. I should be able to filter that. But it doesn't let me. So I don't like that. Wolverine, I think that needs to be fixed. Because I don't think that's realistic. I mean, you tell me the guy they're going to draft in the seventh round, they don't know what his 40 time is. I would bet, I mean, I don't work for an NFL team. I have stayed at a Holiday Inn Express on occasion. I would bet. <laughs> I would bet they know a guy's 40 time and how fast he is. Now, this guy has average speed, pedestrian tackling. Now, we know a lot about this guy, and he can't block, and he's actually terrible at it, and he has terrible strength, so I know I don't want to draft, I'm 100% positive I don't want to draft him. All right, what's this guy? Tackle, so I need uh, speed, exceptional speed, but he can't block, so he can get to the point of the block, but then he can't block anybody. All right, speed's acceptable, hands are pedestrian, blocking is unexceptional, but that's actually kind of high. Got an old Miss. Jeremy Sigler. Terrible. Now, pathetic's really bad. <laughs> I mean, that's really bad. Unexceptional and terrible. Speed is awful. Great, great speed, pathetic strength, decent and pathetic, pedestrian and terrible. Pathetic and terrible. I, I, I mean, you know, I am drafting a, you know, last round guy here. Uh, speed is terrible. Speed is underdeveloped. Where does that fall on the list? All right. Exceptional intelligence. Average tackling. You know what? Let's bring in Ronnie Rapp. Might be Mitch Rapp's brother. And pick until human. And that's the end of the draft. All right, we are we are a long way into this episode. All right, well, we'll come back next episode. We'll hit the games. We will start watching, uh, start start looking at the games and scores. We'll go through the the roster depth chart. So I'll come back after preseason, and uh, we'll do that next episode. I will try to edit some of this out to make it a little shorter. But don't forget, if you've made it to the end, hit the like button make a comment, and that will enter you into the contest for the free giveaway. Uh, this will run until 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. Uh, that's Texas, Louisiana, that area, uh, Chicago. Uh, so, yeah, if you're in a different part of the world or whatever, look up Chicago, and uh, that's the time zone that we're in. So check that out. I think it's Chicago, but Houston for sure. Houston, Dallas. Uh, so 6 p.m. on December 24th, Christmas Eve. And at that time, I will pull a winner. And uh, we will try to do that on camera. Uh, and then I will uh, get that information to... Uh, I will contact the winner. And then I will uh, reach out to Gary Gorski with uh, the winner's information and get you guys a copy of the game. Uh, hopefully for Christmas, if not for New Year, Gary might be off with the holidays. So don't freak out if that happens. But uh, you know that is a done deal that you're going to get a copy of the game. So guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting this series for sure. And uh, thank you to Gary and Wolverine for donating a, a copy of the game for me to give away to one of you lucky guys or gals. All right, see you later. Bye.